this is NDTV and you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta at Mahim Junction in Bombay and my guest today is somebody whose job probably nobody wants at least this week. Chief Minister Vilasana Deshmukh, nice welcome to Walk the Talk. Thank you so much. Thank I'm you. so grateful for you. Thank you, you for so much. finding time in such a difficult period. Yeah. I know you're not getting much sleep. Meeting after meeting after meeting, visit after visit after visit. A lot of meetings are on and uh, we have been taking uh, a lot of efforts to find out uh, who is the culprit and uh, the right. whole machinery we have geared up because that is the main task before us now, right. to find out the culprit. But it's remarkable to see you still smiling and, and, and just as you see the city of Bombay buzzing, the train station is full. This is the station that saw one of the bombing incidents, Mahim Junction. That is the spirit of Bombay. On Western Line. Western Line and immediately after four and a half hours, the whole service was, I mean, uh, it was uh, restarted immediately. And that has given a great relief and uh, the next morning everything was normal. And, 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 and now within 48 hours, you are at the station, the trains go on and life goes on in Bombay. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the incident which had happened, it was really shocking to us. I mean, uh, though we were all alert, but uh, this kind of a, uh, incident uh, would occur, I mean, uh, it was just uh, surprising for all of us. But I was confident that after having uh, seen people in Mumbai under this deluge, that I have already seen, uh, the way they uh, reacted, the way they cooperated. And the spirit of Mumbai is such that uh, everybody wants to go on. That is the spirit of Mumbai. And I think that has really helped us in bringing normalcy as, as uh, early as possible. We will we'll revisit this notion of the spirit of Bombay, because uh, I have a complaint on that. But, but, but you said it was a surprise. There, there's also talk, in fact, even the Prime Minister mentioned that there were indications that something big yeah, was about there was to a happen. General, there was a general um, uh, alertness. I mean, the uh, uh, message was passed on by IB, uh, some warning. When was that? that? Was, no, for last four or five months, right. uh, we had a meeting with our Home Minister Delhi, myself, right. my Home Minister, we all went there, we uh, hold a meeting, but there were some specific suggestions. Right. So, for a Siddhi Vinayak temple is concerned. So, we have whipped up the security there. I know, you, but then you RSS, all, uh, then the RSS, there, yeah, yeah. Then the RSS headquarters um, incident, which we could uh, avoid because of the right. early uh, intelligence uh, input. But so far as uh, this incident which has uh, recently occurred, I mean there was general uh, kind of a warning, but not specific. Right. And that is the thing uh, where I think uh, uh, we could not do much. But is there, now do you see a connection and do your intelligence people see a connection between say the attack in Nagpur, what's happening ha now, the hall in Aurangabad, it looks like Maharashtra has become in so many ways a kind of nerve center of all this activity. We cannot jump to the conclusion because right. all these possibilities are there before the investigating teams. Right. And unless and until the investigation is complete, we cannot uh, come to the conclusion. And we cannot uh, but right now it, say that yes, there is a connection. If you look we look at e say. each incident separately, for example, the incident at Nagpur, do we know who did it now? Are, are we quite sure? See, that also the investigation on because all they were killed, right. all the terrorists right. accompanying in that car. They were, they were all killed. No, but, so, but, but, but do we have any sense of who was controlling them? Where was the mastermind? No, the mastermind and everything. I think that is under investigation. Right. I mean, it will be too early to say on that. And Aurangabad? The, the big everything. RDX all, I mean, all these people were arrested. Uh, I mean, the investigation is on. We are now decided to create two more um, uh, this anti terrorist squad one at Nagpur, one at Aurangabad. Right. And uh, unfortunately, the whole Marathwada region, especially the districts in Marathwada, Aurangabad, the Arbani, I mean, they're all uh, unfortunately been involved uh, in these kind of uh, activities. But, but why Marathwada in particular? There could be, I mean, different reasons. Maybe poverty could be one reason. Right. And unemployment could be other reason. There could be other reasons. I mean, uh, but uh, the basic thing which we could, I could feel that uh, because uh, uh, the design of the uh, terrorist activities, they always find a place where people may not uh, focus their ma ma major attention. The Prime Minister talked about active terrorist modules in the city of Bombay. Uh, how, how aware are you of that, you and your police forces? See, what has happened, especially we have to have a 
proper coordination between the railway police and the Maharashtra police. We are sharing the information from the central intelligence and accordingly we are planning our strategy. But you also have information that there are terrorist modules course, in the city. Of course, of course. And are those controlled from overseas, from Pakistan or from Bangladesh as is being speculated now? No, see, there, there could be many places controlling the whole thing. Right. But uh, because the activities are... Uh, because the Prime, by Minister, Prime Minister has given a very tough see, the, warning of to course, Pakistan. Of course, and that is a very welcome warning. I, I, I must appreciate the stand our Prime Minister has taken. Right. I mean, there must be some tough stand to be taken. Otherwise, the innocent people will be killed and then we will try to... Uh, justify that or try to help them, try to right. rehabilitate them. That is not going to solve the major problem unless and until because you see, it, it doesn't uh, stop uh, with state alone. Right. We have to have a holistic view on this. Right. Because but, we have to have a. But, uh, but why is your state such a victim of it? Uh, is is it because Gujarat is next door? Or that it? that could be one reason. And secondly, Mumbai and Maharashtra. I mean, this especially the Mumbai is an economic hub. Right. It's a commercial capital of our country. And so naturally, I mean, everybody will try to concentrate, focus on these cities so that uh, there could be a worldwide publicity for their activities. And if they we create a panic and Mumbai can come to a standstill, then that could be a more news. Right. I mean, they will be successful in their own design. And it's a cosmopolitan city. I mean, every uh, caste, community, creed, they stay in Mumbai peacefully. Right. And they want to destabilize that. That could be the design. So, what influence has... Uh I mean, are you paying the price for being a neighbor of Gujarat or having Gujarat as your neighbor? Uh, to a certain extent, I can't say fully, but uh, of course, because the thing which have happened and this particular uh, western line also, which connects uh, between Maharashtra and Gujarat, but right. I, I, I can't say right because, now. Because uh, it may be a coincidence, but you notice that in many of these attacks, a very large number of casualties are Gujaratis, Gujarati Hindus, if I may put it. Oh, I mean, a, because because a, these are suburbs which yes. with high Gujarati populations. Yeah. But that is a part of the investigation. I don't want to comment on that uh, right. that right now. But I want that invitation goes should go independent. So you are a politician. You have your finger on the pulse. You have the finger on the pulse of say, the Muslim community as well. How much of a cause of anger and resentment and and a driving force for revenge are the Gujarat riots still? No, it says, so far as Mumbai is concerned, I don't uh, find any in that kind of a uh, resistance from the people. You don't that find it? Of, I don't find it. And uh, yesterday only, by, uh, one major group of Muslim community, that's the Ulemas, right. and uh, the people from uh, Razat, Academy, and other organizations, they came and promised me, they condemned this act. And they said that whatever uh, uh, help you need from our side, to uh, investigate because, and to find because out because the, the other blasts, for example, Gateway of India blast. You see that a lot of that's coming out of resentment among local Muslims. Maybe a very small number, but no. But so far as local Muslims are concerned, and only so ten people need to carry out an act of terror. Absolutely, care. but see, so far as Hindu Muslim uh, unity is concerned, uh, so far as Maharashtra and Mumbai and in, in other parts is concerned. I think people have now learned a lot of lesson from the, well, that's the other what the incident happened yeah. in the past. That's the other remarkable thing because not only has been has there been complete communal peace, in fact, no political party has even made an incendiary statement. Yeah, yeah. Because not even the Shiv Sena, not even BJP. We have, we, have, we have suffered a lot in the past. Samajwadi party. Yes, but right. we don't want to, I mean, uh, nobody wants to repeat that again. Right. Because that will, You've uh, that will spoil everything, that will right. spoil everything and that will hurt everybody. Right. Uh, apart from uh, so any are you, specific community. Are, are you happy this time that the BJP and the Sena yeah, have I'm, 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 I'm most happy the way the, uh, this uh, opposition parties have cooperated right. with us because uh, the next day I hold a meeting. Right. I called all the top leaders of uh, Sivs Sena, BJP from our assembly, all the group leaders. And we had a meeting and we uh, went before the cameras and uh, made an appeal to the people that yes, we are all here to maintain the peace of the state. And are you now concerned that there might be this protest rally uh, with Narendra Modi? We, we hope it. that uh, uh, that also will not uh, create uh, any problem because we have been uh, want, want the police also to be on alert right. because see whatever we have achieved so far that should not be vitiated. So are you happy to happy to welcome Mr. Modi? No, to if, if, he, rally if, he, if he behaves properly, if he doesn't create any more problem, I mean. Uh, Whatever we have achieved so far, I think that should go on. And I don't think anybody would like because Advani ji also um, he was here the day before. Right. And he also, I think, uh, said the sensible thing to the people. And he has appealed to the people, yes, right. we want to maintain the peace. If that spirit continues, I don't right. uh, see any uh, problem. Right. But, but will, you, will you appeal to Mr. Modi either to, either to defer this 
No, if he defers, it's well and good. I mean, that will be a welcome thing. Because unnecessarily, that, uh, everybody will create some, uh, some problem on top of that. And uh, whatever he speaks, somebody may take out something which is convenient to right. A or B. Right. That I don't want, that it should happen right. in Mumbai. Because yes, uh, the incident has happened, the police is investigating, and who, will, who are the culprits who will, uh, and so, will punish them. I mean, so it's so not you that... You will be happier if this meeting is deferred. Yeah, definitely. That will be a more sensible thing to do. And, and when it happens, you'd prefer if Mr. Modi is not there. <laughs> no, see, because of his background, that is the right. only problem. Because there are leaders like, uh, I mean, many. I mean, Gopinath Munde is a local leader of BJP. Right. And everybody has behaved uh, so nicely at right. the time of crisis. Right. And uh, they have taken a very sensible uh, stand. And that has helped us uh, not to aggravate uh, the situation.